deleted from this chapter. So, uh, exercise twelve point two. Okay, page number five hundred nine NCRT. This complete exercise has been deleted. Next exercise is miscellaneous. This is also deleted. Okay, in LBP, these two exercises has been deleted. So, so the only exercise which we have to do is exercise first. Okay. We will try our best to complete this chapter today. Then only probability will be left. Okay. Uh, so all the questions of uh, miscellaneous exercise is deleted. Yes. Okay. Actually, the word problem has been deleted. So in miscellaneous, you have only word problem. That's why there's no need to do this. Similarly, this exercise, this also have only word problems. So we will do first exercise only. Okay. So let's start the topic. Okay. Uh, what is a linear programming problem? Uh, this is a problem which is concerned with finding the optimal value. Okay. Optimal value means maximum or minimum value. Okay. For example, if uh, a shopkeeper needs to sell uh, chairs and table, then he wants the maximum profit. So such type of problems will come under this category. Okay. So here we will try whatever the objective function we have, we will try to maximize or minimize that as per the question. Okay. So what is a linear programming problem? Is It is the one that is concerned with finding the optimal value of a linear function. Linear function means the function which we need to maximize is a linear. Okay. That means degree one. Uh, then we will maximize or minimize our objective function under certain conditions. Okay. So what are the conditions that we will see in the next slide? So please note down this definition. And once we will start solving the question, then all these definition will be clear to you. Okay. So please note down this, raise your hands once it is done, then I will change the slide. So I guess we need 40 minutes to complete all the theoretical part. After that, we will start the questions. Okay. Please note down this and raise your hands. Uh, Umair, uh, you have sent me any uh, a question. Okay, we will discuss that after the class. Uh, yes, yes, of the miscellaneous examples are also deleted. So you don't need to do the word problem in this chapter. Okay. Uh, everyone, please raise your hands once it is done. Okay.
Uh, Aman, you have just joined. I was going to uh, change the slide. So, can you take a screenshot of this, Aman? I will explain to you okay, this. Sir. Okay, Rifa. So, uh, Aman, uh, we have started a new chapter, linear programming. Okay, in this chapter, you don't need to do the second exercise and the miscellaneous. So, second exercise and miscellaneous has been deleted. Okay. Basically, you don't need to do the word problem. So, in second and miscellaneous, you have only word problems. So, we will do first exercise only. Okay. So, what is the linear programming? In linear programming problem, we will maximize or minimize a function. Okay. In linear programming problem, we will maximize or minimize a function. For example, if a shopkeeper wants to sell the chair and table. Okay. So, his profit should be maximum. So such a type of function will be given. So we need to maximize and minimize that under certain condition. What can be the condition, for example, uh, that uh, it is compulsory that he will sell three tables and two chairs. Okay. So uh, in linear programming, we will maximize or minimize a function under certain conditions. We will see the conditions in the uh, next slide. Okay. So please take a screenshot. And all of you uh, raise your hands. Once it is done, then I will change the slide. Okay. Okay, Aman. So who is left? Fahad and Umir. Is it done? Okay, Fahad. Umir, is it done? Yes, sir, done. Okay, great, great. Now, next one. Objective function. Okay. What is the objective function? Linear function Z is equal to X plus BY where a, b are constant, which has to be maximized or minimized is called a linear objective function. Okay. So in a question, the function which needs to be maximized or minimized, for example, I told you that a shopkeeper wants to maximize his profit. So that function is an objective function. So in a question, whatever the function we, you need to maximize or minimize, that is called objective function. Okay. And uh, this function will always be linear. Okay. So that means the power of x and y should be one. This is objective function, okay? So again, note down this one and raise your hands. Then we will see the next topic, okay? Okay, Abdur, okay, Fahd. Uh, Omer, Amman, and Rifat, please let me know once it is time. Okay, Amman, good. Rifat and Omer. Okay, Rifat, good. Omer, is it done? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Now, constants, okay? What are constants? The linear inequalities or equations or restrictions on the variable of a linear programming problem are called the constants, okay? So, uh, for example, uh, again, the same thing. If you need to maximize the profit and uh, you need to maximize the profit and uh, they will give you certain condition. For example, um, it is compulsory that you will uh, sell at least three tables. Okay, and four chairs. So what are the conditions? What are the restrictions they will give on the variable? Okay, that is called the constraint. So for example, here X and Y, if I will say that X and Y are the chairs, the number of chairs and table which we need to sell. Okay, and they will give certain conditions. For example, X should be greater than or equal to zero. Y should be greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so these are called non-negative constraints you know that the chair and table can, can't be less than zero. So in every question, you will find out this one, X and Y should be greater than or equal to zero. So whatever the conditions they will give you in a question, so that conditions are called the constraints, or we will say the restrictions they will give you. 
for example they will give you this one and they will uh, give you this that x plus y should always be less than or equal to 10 okay so that means sum of number of chairs and table should always be less than 10 so these are the restrictions okay so these restrictions are called the constraints so in every question you will find out two things first is objective function which you have to maximize or minimize under the restrictions so these are the restrictions this will always be present in every question okay so note down this again raise your hands once it is done when we will start solving the question then all these definition will be clear to you okay Okay, Fahad, okay, Abdul, great. Uh, Amman, uh, Rifat, Omir, please confirm. Repeat this time. Okay, Amman, good. Done, sir. Okay, good. Good, Omir, good, Rifat. Next one. Uh, yes. Okay, we will see all the type of problems here uh optimization problem what's the optimization problem a problem which seeks to maximize or minimize a linear function subject to certain restrictions or constraints okay it's called an optimization problem so what is optimization problem where you need to maximize or minimize a function which function objective function okay so such a type of problem where you need to maximize or minimize the objective function under certain restrictions under certain constraints is called an optimization problem Okay, uh, please note down this and again raise your hand. Uh, is it done? Okay, Fahad, good. Yes, sir. Okay, after good. I'm and Fahad and Omir, is it done? The wait, I'm doing. Okay, okay. Okay, Omir, I will wait. Okay, Omer, very good. Okay, uh, next is the feasible region. Okay, so what's a feasible region? 
the common region determined by all the constants, including non-negative constants. Okay. So as I already told you in every question, you will find out this. X is greater than or equal to zero and Y is greater than or equal to zero. These are called non-negative constants. Non-negative constants. So what uh, we have to do in every question, they will give you a Z. Z is objective function. Z is AX plus BY. In every question, they will give you this objective function. Okay, we have to maximize or minimize this one under certain restrictions. What are the restrictions? In every question, they will give you this x greater than or equal to zero, y greater than or equal to zero. Uh, sir, are restrictions the conditions? Uh, yes, restrictions are the conditions which they will give. Okay, and conditions will be like this. This will always be present. Then further like this one x plus y greater than or equal to zero, two uh, x plus y greater than or equal to three. Any anything they can give. Okay. So they will give these uh, conditions, these restrictions. What we have to do, we have to draw the graph of this. Okay, these are linear in equations. So in class 11, you have drawn the graph of these. So, so for example, so you know this, if I will draw the graph of this one, x plus y greater than zero, how we will draw this? x plus y, we will write equal to zero. We will take two points, x and y. I will again explain how to draw the graph once we will start the questions. So x0, y1, y0, x1. So the point is 0, 1, and 0, 1. So this is 1. And this is also a 1. You will join these two. You will get this a straight line. Okay. This is for x plus y equal to 0. Now the question is x plus y greater than or equal to 0. So you need to check that uh, which region is your solution. Okay, so this line, this line divide the plane into two half, first and second. So either this part is your region or this part that can be find out by putting the origin. So this you have already done in class 11, but we will again see how to do this once we will start the question. Now we are talking about the feasible region. Okay, so similarly, you have some other conditions also like this one. So for example, you will draw a graph like this. Suppose we have one more line, we will draw a graph like this. And when we will find all the region, all the common region, suppose this is your common region. Okay, I will tell you later on how to find the common region. Now, suppose this is your common region. For all the lines, this is only the common part. So this common part is called the visible region. This common part is called the visible region. Okay, so what is a feasible region? When you will draw the graph by using all the restrictions, all the constraints which are given in the question, then the common part is called the feasible region. Okay, so I hope this is clear to everyone that what is a feasible region. Okay, so just note down the definition. No need for to draw this graph. I will do this later on and confirm me. We will start the next topic then. Okay, Rifat, very good. Omer, Abdur, Rahman, and Fat, uh, please confirm. If it is done, no need to draw this graph, okay? Okay, Fat, good. Okay, Abdur, good. Aman and uh, Omer, is it done? Okay, great, Aman. So it's left, Omer. Omer, is it done? Yes, it's done. Okay, okay. Now, what is the invisible region? The region which is not feasible. Okay, so I uh, suppose if you have a, uh, if you have drawn a graph like this one, then this is your common region. This is your common region. So this is called feasible. Outside this region, everything is called the invisible region. Okay, so we will say the region which is not feasible is called the invisible 
region okay so please note on this the region other than feasible region is called an invisible region okay So this is only a single line. So please raise your hands if it is done. We will start next. Okay, Fahad. Okay, Fahad. Good, good. Umir Abdurrahman, um, please raise your hands. Umir Abdurrahman, is it done? <coughs> Okay, I'm good. Umir and Abdur. Okay. You're welcome to me. Okay. Done, sir. Okay. Done, sir. Okay, good. Next one. Optimal feasible solution. Okay, again, this almost a similar thing. Any point in the feasible region that gives the maximum or minimum value of the objective function is called the optimal solution. So, uh, when suppose we have drawn the graph, this is your feasible region, this one. Okay, so any point inside this which will give you the feasible, any point inside this which will give you the optimal solution, okay, that means maximum or minimum value of the function, then that point is called the optimal solution. Okay, any point in the feasible region which give you the uh, maximum or minimum value of the objective function, that is called the optimal solution. Okay, I will again explain all these when we will start the question. Okay, so please note down this, again raise your hands. Then I will change this slide. Um, no, how many optimal solution could a problem ha have? Uh, this is a very good question. Sometimes infinite. Okay, and sometime only one. Most of the time you will find only a single solution and sometime it become infinite. So I will uh, let you know both the conditions. Okay, just wait for some time over here. Okay, Abdul, great, great. Uh, Umir, I'm in Fahad and Fahad, is it done? Okay, Fahad, good, good. Okay, Rifat, okay, Fahad. Umir and Amin, is it done? Uh, yes, sir, done. Yes, yes, Abdul, that's correct. Okay. So we will discuss uh, the questions which they have given in the uh, CBS sample paper. Okay. Okay. And now the theorem. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, let r be the feasible region for a linear programming problem okay so the constants are given to you you will draw a graph for example this one this is your feasible region this one this is your feasible region so the theorem is let r be the feasible region for a linear programming problem and let z is equal to ax plus by be the objective function okay when z has an optimal value this optimal value occur at a corner point of the feasible region so the phys the optimal value the optimal value will always occur at the corner point. So that means the maximum or minimum value will always occur at the corner point. So when you need to find out the maximum or minimum value, what you will do, you will draw the graph. Then you will find the value of Z at the corner point. I will tell you later on. Okay. So you will find the value of Z at the corner point. So the maximum or minimum value will occur at the corner point only. 
so there is no need to check any other point you just need to take out the corner point you will check the value of z at the corner point whatever the maximum or minimum value you're getting that will be your final answer okay so i hope this is clear to you this is a very important theorem on the basis of this theorem only we will solve the questions okay so please note down this theorem again raise your hands then uh, i will change the slide okay uh, there is one more theorem so note down this then we will uh, check the second theorem Uh, everyone, please raise your hands once it is done. Then we will see the second theorem. Okay, Abdul, great. Umi, Raman, Fahd, and Ifad. Okay, Fahd, good. Okay, Fahd, good. Okay, Amman, great. Uh, Umir, is it done? Amir, is it done? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Okay, great. Now, second two. Okay, let again the same thing. Let R be the feasible region for a linear programming problem, and let this be the objective function. If R is bounded, uh, what is mean by bounded and unbounded? I will show you two cases. First is this. You have the constraints. You have drawn this graph, and this is your feasible region. Okay, so this is bounded. You can see the feasible region is bounded. Okay, so this is a case of bounded one. So if R be the feasible region, Z be the objective function. If R is bounded, that means this case, then the objective function have both maximum and minimum value on R, and each of these occur at a corner point. So what is mean by this? If the feasible region is bounded then the objective function will have both maximum and minimum value okay if the feasible region is bounded then your uh, this one feasible region sorry then your objective function will have maximum and minimum value both okay remember this is the first condition if it is bounded then yes maximum and minimum will occur and where it will occur it will occur at the corner points so i hope this theorem is clear to you Okay, we will see the next part of this. <clears throat> if this one is bounded, okay, so I hope uh, this is clear to you. We will see the unbounded now. If R is unbounded, the, then a maximum or a minimum value of the objective function may not exist. So, what is the unbounded case? For example, we have this uh, line, then we have another line like this. And we, if we will find the common part, we are getting this common part. This is a common part. So this is your feasible region. Now you can see this, that this is unbounded. What was bounded? Bounded was like this. This is a bounded one. Feasible region is bounded. Sir, is the unfeasible area unbounded? Sorry? Sir, is the uh, not feasible area unbounded? Uh, in which case? The non-feasible area. Yes, yes. So if we will see here, then yes, non-feasible region, region uh, non-feasible area is also is unbounded here. Okay, but we are talking about the feasible region. 
Okay. So here also the uh, invisible region is unbounded. Here also invisible region is unbounded, but we will focus on visible region. So here the visible region is bounded. Here the visible region is not bounded. Okay. So this is the second case. Now, uh, in second case, what will happen? If the visible region is not unbounded, sorry, is unbounded, then maximum, then there are chances that a maximum or minimum value will not occur. Okay. So if the visible region is unbounded, there are chances that the objective function will not have any maximum or minimum value. But in case the maximum or minimum value will occur, then that will occur at the corner point. So whatever the corner point you have, for example, here, this, here, this one. Okay, if there is any maximum or minimum value, sorry, yes, if there is maximum or minimum values there, then it will exist only on the corner point. Okay, so what's the difference between these two points? Difference is in bounded, the maximum or minimum value will always occur. If the region is unbounded, then there are chances that the uh, objective function can have, do not have any maximum or minimum value. In unbounded, there are chances. <clears throat> but if the maximum or minimum value will occur, then that will occur at the corner point. Okay, these theorems are very important because the questions are based on these theorems. So if anyone have a doubt in this theorem, please let me know. How to solve a question we will see later on, but the base is this one. Anyone have a problem? If not, then please note down this and raise your hand. But if anyone have a problem, please let me know, okay? Uh, okay, Omir. First uh, theorem is if R be the feasible region, okay, uh, and this is your objective function, if when Z has an optimal value, this optimal value will occur at a corner point of the feasible region, okay. So that means, for example, if I will draw this one, this is your feasible region, okay. So that means this is your feasible region the maximum or minimum value will always occur at the corner point. Always remember. Okay, I will tell you a summary. Always remember, Omir, the maximum or minimum value will always occur at the corner point. First thing. Okay, now second theorem. In second theorem, we have two parts, one and two. First is for bounded. What is bounded? See here. Here your visible region is bounded. Check here. It have the boundaries okay so if your feasible region is bounded then it is confirmed that it will have a maximum and minimum value if your feasible region is bounded then it is confirmed that it will have a maximum and minimum value okay and these maximum and minimum value will always occur at the corner point so the first point is for physical for bounded so in bounded Maximum and minimum will always occur and that will occur at the corner point. 
second one second case is if the feasible region is unbounded okay if the feasible region is unbounded then there are chances that the maximum or minimum value may not occur may not exist okay but if they will exist it will occur at the corner point this is the theorem for bounded maximum and minimum always occur for unbounded there are chances that maximum or minimum may not exist but if they will exist then they will always occur at the corner point okay Umir? so i hope this is clear to you sorry Fahad and abdur you have confirmed thank you uh omir fahad and Amon, please confirm me if this is done and we will see the next slide Uh, Am I further, Amir? Uh, please confirm me, okay? Once it is done. Okay, Fat, good. Okay, Am very good. Amir, is it done? Uh, Omir, is it done? Shall we start next? Uh, Omir, I guess you have also done this, so I'm going to change the slide. Okay. The so words are writing. Okay. Please complete this. Uh, is it done, Umid? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, uh, we will check how to solve the questions, okay? And the method we will use is a corner point method, okay? We will check all the points. First of all, we need to find the feasible region, okay? We need to find the feasible region of linear programming problem, okay? How we will find the feasible region? Again, by drawing the graph, by using the constraint. Uh, after that, we will find out the point of intersections. Okay. Once we will do that, uh, then we will check the value of Z at each of the corner point. Okay. Let M and capital M and small m be the largest and smallest value of these points. Okay. When the feasible region is bounded, then that maximum and minimum value are the uh, then capital M and small m are the maximum and minimum values of Z. Okay, so what you have to do? Just draw the graph, find out the feasible region, take out the corner points. Okay, 
find the value of z at these corner point whatever the maximum and minimum values you are getting that will be the required answer this is for bounded okay so i hope you understood up to this point okay next point is for unbounded that is quite lengthy i will explain to you later on when we will start the problems of unbounded okay otherwise uh, you will get confused so please note down this the second one this i will explain to you later on so note down this complete one after that we will start the questions okay uh, in the question i will explain you the same points again so please note down this Everyone, please raise your hands once it is time. Okay, Fat. Very good.
Uh, sir, can you explain the fourth point? Uh, fourth, Omer, I will tell you later on. Okay, otherwise you will get confused. So first, we will solve two questions of of bounded. After that, I will give you unbounded question, and then I will explain you the fourth point. Okay. So all of you, please confirm me if this is done, so that we can start the questions. Okay, Abdur, good. Aman, Fahad, Omer, is it done? Okay, Aman, very good. Okay, Fahad. Good. Omer, is it done? No, sir, I'm back. Okay, Omer. Okay, okay, Amir. Good. So, uh, theoretical part is done. Now we will start a question. So, just give me a minute. We made later on. Okay. I will explain the point for later on. So, let me give you a question. So the question is solve the solve the following solve the following linear programming problem programming problem graphically. Maximize, maximize Z is equal to 4X plus Y, subject to the constraints, subject to the constraints. X plus Y less than or equal to 50, 3X plus Y, less than or equal to 90 x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0 okay so we have this question now uh, we will check how to solve this question so check here uh, this we need to maximize so this is the objective function okay and this one this one and this one these are the constraints these are the restrictions so first we have to draw the graph by using these in equations Okay, always we will draw the graph by using these in equations. So we will take the first one. First is region represented, region represented by this one, x plus y less than equal to 50. Okay, region represented by this x plus y less than equal to 50. So always remember how we will draw a graph. First of all, we will write the equation x plus y is equal to 50 we will draw the graph of the equation this you have already done in class 11 so i hope you remember this mm -hmm. 
Okay. Only two points are sufficient. So write x, write y. Put x is equal to 0. If you will put x here 0, what you will get y? y is 50. If you will put y 0, x you will get as a 50. Okay. So uh, we will draw the graph on the next slide. So this is zero. Uh, okay, we will uh, we will find other points also. Then we will take the scale. Okay, so the next one, next in equation is, uh, or just give me a minute. Okay, so we will take as a ten. So this is zero. This is ten. Okay, this is twenty. This one is thirty. This one is forty. This is fifty. This is 60, this is 70, this is 80, and this is 90, okay. This is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and this is 80, okay. Just give me a minute. Okay, uh, Abdur, thank you for the points. Okay, so if you will see the inequation, then what the points we have 0, 50, and 50, 0. Okay, so 0, 50 is here. This is 0, 50. Okay, next point is 50, 0. Let this be A. Let this be B. And this is 0, 50. Sorry. This is 0, 50. This is 50, 0. 50 comma 0 okay next take a line we will select this color okay this is your line and on the line always write the equation so that examiner will know that this is the equation this is a straight line of this equation so x plus y is equal to 50. now this line has divided this plane into two part okay first this second this first part and second part okay so we will check that which is our solution either first is our solution or second is our solution so what you can do from the first or second region put any point put any point in the inequation if that point will satisfy the inequation then that region will be your answer what we will do from the first or the second point we will put the any point we have to find for second yes yes for for second also so from the first to second region we will put any point in the in equation if that will satisfy then that part is your solution so normally we put the origin because we don't need to do any call calculation everything will become zero okay so but if the if your line is passing through the origin for example if you are drawing a line and it is passing through origin then never put origin in that line okay if your line is passing through the origin then please never put that Put origin in the inequation. So here you can see this is your origin. Now put the origin here. So you have this one. Uh, I don't have the space, so I'm doing here x plus y less than equal to 50. Let this be one. Put 0, comma 0 in first. In first, what you will get? 0 plus 0 is less than equal to 50. Uh, 0 is less than equal to 50. It is true or false? which is which is true okay zero is less than 50 that is true so uh this yes this is origin test uh who have this question uh, uh please check here for so you have two region first and second okay so from the first or second region you can put any point that's your choice if that point satisfy the inequation that then that complete region is your solution 
and if that point will not satisfy then the other part is your solution so normally we use origin okay why because by using origin you don't need to do any calculation everything will become zero okay if we will put any other point here then we, we need to subtract or add as per the condition so always use origin but if the line is passing through the origin then please never use that yes every time but if the line is passing through the origin never put origin okay okay so zero is less than 50 that is true so a region containing uh so the region containing origin is the solution is the solution is the uh, or we can say is the region is the region represented by is the region represented by this one this equation x plus y less than equal to 50 okay so if so here the origin is satisfying uh, the inequality that's why this region will be our solution okay so this part so for this one this part is a this one okay so you have two parts first second as the origin is, origin is satisfying the equation so this is your required solution for the first line okay now similarly we will check for the second one so second is uh second is region represented by region represented by now uh, second show the graph uh graph this one i will give you the yeah. time okay uh, okay no, i'm just seeing i'm just seeing it right now okay 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 is it fine Umair? yeah just one more second okay okay okay, okay sir fine okay thank you now the second is 3x plus y less than equal to 90 3x plus y less than equal to 90 okay again the same thing 3x plus y is equal to 90 draw the graph so okay again write x y x0 this is 90 sorry x0 y 90 y0 x 30 so we have these two points 0 comma 90 so 0 okay i don't have the space i will write 90 here okay this is my 90 so this is 0 comma 90 and the other point is 30 comma 0 here we have this point this is 30 comma 0 okay uh, next we will draw a line Here we have a 30. Okay, next we have this line. So again, for this line, you have two region. First is this, second is. So we will see the second is the solution or not. So uh, we will put origin in the equation. So the equation is 3x plus y right here. 3x plus y is equal to 90. Okay. So again, the same thing. Put put 0 comma 0 let this be 2 put 0 comma 0 into so what you will get 0 plus 0 is less than or equal to 90 which is true 0 is less than or equal to 90 which is true which is true hence hence the region containing the origin hence the region containing the origin containing the origin is the solution or is the region represented by the region represented by this inequation 3x plus y less than equal to 90 okay so for this one also the region containing the origin is the solution so that means this part and this one this also and this one also we will see the uh, next conditions x greater than or equal to zero y greater than or equal to zero okay always remember third part a region represented by represented by x greater than or equal to zero y greater than or equal to zero okay so what is x is greater than or equal to zero this is zero this is x axis so x greater than or equal to zero means this part this side 
This is x greater than equal to zero. This side. Y greater than zero means above origin. This one. So that means x greater than equal to zero and y greater than is equal to zero will always represent the first quadrant. Okay. This one and this one will always represent the first quadrant. So we will write here. Uh, sir, why have you marked the dots? Uh, okay, okay. Uh, Umir, I will explain that later on. Okay. Umir, this part is clear. X is greater than or equal to zero. Y greater than or equal to zero represent the first quadrant. Is it clear, Umir? Uh, no, sir. Can I explain again? Yes. So focus on this. Okay. So region represented by X greater than or equal to zero, Y greater than or equal to zero. So if you will see here, x greater than equal to zero means this is x axis. So x greater than equal to zero means right side, Umir. Umir, is it clear? Yeah, yes. yes. Y greater than equal to zero means yes, above origin. So that means first quadrant. So always remember x greater than zero, y greater than zero always represent the first quadrant. Okay. Now we and need to uh, x less than zero and y less than zero so it will represent the fourth quadrant no yes. third quadrant yes but they will never give you in lpp no okay. okay now we need to find the common solution so for this line also the region containing the origin is your solution for this line also the region containing the origin is your solution so if you will find out the uh, common region then common region will be this one so this is your common region so shade out this. So I have put a dot so that I will remember that this is this I need to highlight. Okay, Amir. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. So okay, only this one is a visible. Not beyond this, and not even this, not even this. So this is the visible region. Okay. So this is the method to find out the visible region. Now th this is point B. Uh, this is point. Let this be C. This point be D. So who have a problem? Uh, how? Okay, for, uh, just focus here. This is your line. Okay, what is your uh, region? Uh, what is the region represented by this line? Towards the origin. And for this line also towards the origin. So what will be the common part? Only this one is a common. This is not common because this part is not present with this pink line. This line is not present with the purple line. So that's why only this part is common. Clear for? But is it clear how towards the line uh, for uh, will you please unmute yourself and tell me what is mean by towards the line uh, Fat. yes sir. yeah uh, what is mean by towards the line i'm not able to understand it uh, no like how it's towards the line i'm not getting the point uh, towards the line means are you saying towards the origin yes okay 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 so check for this line this line okay if you will see this line then this line has divided this plane into two parts one part is this one second part is this okay so what we will do we will put origin origin lie in this part we will put origin in the inequation if the origin will satisfy the inequation then this complete is your solution because in this region only origin is lying and origin is satisfying the inequation okay so what i have done here i have put a origin in the inequation origin is satisfying the inequation so i'm saying that the region containing the origin is represented by is represented by x plus y less than or equal to 50. is it clear so you need to put a origin in the inequation if the origin is satisfying then complete region which is uh, in which the origin is present that is your solution for that line is it clear but if it is true then the arrows are towards uh, which which arrow which which arrow for it is true then the arrows uh, towards the line uh, you're talking about which arrow but unmute yourself oh, okay 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 
Okay, so everyone, you need to find out the region for each line. Then you need to check what is the common region. Okay, so here, this is the common region. Now you can see your common region is bounded. This is the case of bounded. So you need the corner point. What are the corner points you're getting? First is this. Second is the region. This is also a corner point. Then this point is also a corner. This is also a corner point. So whenever you need to find out this point, this one. So please do not use the graph. Do not take out this point from the graph. Okay. For example, some students can say that this point is 20, 30. Don't do that. Solve the equation. So you have these two equations. Solve them so that you can find out the point of intersection. So whenever you need to find out the point of intersection, please do not rely on the graph. You can do some mistake. So uh, find solve the equation. So you have these two equations. 3x plus y is equal to 90. 3x plus y is equal to 90. And you have other equation, which is x plus y is equal to 50. Uh, okay, I will do here. 3x plus y is equal to 90. And x plus y is equal to 50. Uh, uh, sir? Yes? Sir, if putting 0, 0 is true, then the bounded region will go on the upper side, right? Uh, just just give me a minute to me. The yes. state will go outside. Uh, what are you saying? If, the... if, if putting 0, 0 is giving us a true... Uh, statement yes then we have to shade it upper side upper side means from um, above the x-axis yeah from above the x-axis no 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 that's that's not true in every case you have to shade the region which is above the x-axis okay because the solution will always lie in the first quadrant sometimes this can also be your solution in which case when origin does not satisfy the purple line and origin satisfy the pink line Okay, when origin will not satisfy this, then you will shade upper. And if origin is satisfying the pink line, shade like this. So you will get this as a feasible region. Okay, Abdul. So, uh, sorry, uh, Omer. When you will do the questions, this will uh, this will get clear out. Now, uh, yeah, solve this one. Okay, so always solve the equation. Uh, this cancel out. 2x is equal to 90 minus 50 is 40. So x is equal to 20. Put x is equal to 20 in any equation in x plus y is equal to 50. So here you will get 20 plus y is equal to 50. And here you will get y is equal to 30. So point of intersection is point of intersection. Point of intersection is, is 20 comma 30. 20 comma 30. Okay. Someone has sent a question. Okay, okay, good. That's correct. Okay, so this point is 20, 30. But please do not use the graph uh, to find the point of intersection. Always solve the equations so that you can this. Now, if you will see the corner points, you have one, two, three, and four, four corner points. Now we will check the objective function at the corner points. Always make this table. Uh, here write the corner point corner point and here write uh, objective function z objective function okay in this question what was the uh, objective function 4x plus y you can see here 4x plus y was your objective function so z is equal to 4x plus y. Uh, now write all the corner points. So we have the origin 0, 0. Then we have 0, 50. 0, 50. Next we have 20, 30. Okay. And we have this one 30, 0. So next is 30, 0. So we have four corner points. We will check the value of the objective function at these corner points. So find out the value of z at this one. 0, 0 put here, you will get a 0. Put 0, 50. So 4 into 0 plus 50. So this is equal to 50. 20, 30. So 4 into 20 plus 30. So 4 to 83, 110. 
next put this 30 comma 0 4 into 30 plus 0 so this is equal to 120 okay what we have to find out maximize to minimize maximize so what's the maximum value this is your maximum value okay maximum max so we will write maximum value maximum value is 120 at 30 comma at 30 comma zero okay this is your maximum value uh five mark okay for so uh please note down this i hope this is clear to everyone note down the question note down the solution confirm me then i will give you a question on this one please raise your uh, raise your hands once this slide is done then i will change it Uh, okay, Abdur, uh, good. Ahmed Fahd, Omer, Rifat, please confirm if it is done. Okay, Fahd, good. Okay, Ahmed, great. Omer, is it done? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. <clears throat> okay. Uh, graph, do later on. First of all, note down this, okay? Uh, Rifat, I've changed the first slide. Okay. If you miss anything, uh, please let me know. Otherwise, please note down from here. Okay, Abdur. Good. Okay, Rifat.
Oh, Gifat. Good. Omir, Aman, and Rifat. Is it done? Shall I change the slide? I know, sir. I'm writing it. Okay. Uh, okay, Fat. Uh, okay, man. Uh, Omer, I'm just waiting for you. So let me know once it is done. So, uh, Fat, this is the concept. Uh, suppose this is your line. Okay, this line divides this plane into two half, two parts. First and second, this one. So what we are doing? We are putting this origin here. If origin is satisfying, then we are saying that this is our solution. Okay, but your question is, what happen if the origin will not satisfy this the inequation? Then the other part will be your solution. Okay, in that case, you will say that the region uh, which does not contain the origin, that is our solution. Unbounded, we will not decide in the starting. Once you will get the feasible region. Okay, in this case also, you the feasible region can be bounded. Okay, so on the basis of a single line, we can't decide that the region is bounded or not. Find out the region for all the lines, shade them. If the, your shaded region is bounded, then we will say there's a bounded one. If it is unbounded, then you know. Okay. Is it clear for? Okay, great. Omir, I guess now it is done. So, okay. Now, please, all of you note down this and confirm me once it is done. Okay, Abdur. Good. Okay, Rifat, very good. Okay, Rifat, good. Okay, Ahmed, good. Uh, Omir, only you are left. Please let me know once it is done. Uh, we solve this equation. Yes, we need that intersection point. Okay, and we don't uh, depend on graph for that. So always solve the equations. Umir, is it done? No, sir, I'm writing. Okay. So why are we specifically taking these two equations? Good question. Uh, check the graph. Okay, we need this point. Okay. So this point is so point. intersecting. That's what. Yes. 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 Okay. So what about x uh, is is greater than zero and y is greater than zero? Are they not taking part in the uh, shaded region? No, they are taking part, but they will just tell you that this they represent the first quadrant. So what we will do, otherwise what will happen, we can take out this region also. But x is greater than or equal to 0, y greater than or equal to 0 will tell us that we have to take first quadrant only. Okay? Okay. okay. So if we want to shade that x is greater than 0 and y is greater than 0, then how will we, how will we yeah. uh, shade them? 
Okay, so if you have a question where you just need to shade x is greater than or equal to zero, y is greater than or equal to zero, then you have to shade the complete first quadrant. This one. If no no other equation is given, and we need the graph of these two, then we have to shade the first first quadrant. Is it done, Umir? No, no, sir. I'm just cutting the equation right now. Okay. Uh, Umir, now is it done? Yes. Sir. Okay. So please put on this, then uh, draw the graph. Okay. Okay, Abdur. Very good. Uh, okay, uh, Abdur, uh, will you please give me some minutes? Okay, once uh, all will complete this, and I will give you an equation. Thank you. Okay, Rifat, good. I'm in for then, Umir. Uh, let me know once it is done. Okay, Fat, good. Uh, Umir, is it done? No, sir, I'm right.
Uh, Omir, done? Yes, sir, done. <clears throat> okay. Uh, now, all of you, please note down this graph, okay? Then I will give you a new question. Okay, Abdur, okay, Fat. Uh, Omir Ahmed Rifat, uh, let me know once it is time. So we can also draw the table without drawing the graph, right? You can draw, uh, how we'll find the corner points. Point B is this one. Uh, for, okay, this is 0, 50, this is origin. Uh, without graph, uh, I mean, how we will decide that this is uh, bounded or unbounded, okay? It's not possible. Okay, for uh, all of you, uh, let me know once it is done. Okay, Rifat. Good. Good after. Is it uh, okay, Ahmed? Umir, is it done? Yes, sir. Okay, great, great. Uh, now, all of you, please try this question. This is a very, very good question. Okay. Uh, solve the 
following problems following problem graphically minimize and maximize z is equal to 3x plus 9y subject to the constraint subject to the constraints x plus 3y less than or equal to 60 x plus y greater than or equal to 10 x is greater than or equal to y x is greater than or equal to 0 y is greater than or equal to 0 Okay, so please draw the graph, find out the corner point, tell me the maximum and the minimum value.
uh, observe, uh, I have just checked your question. X is equal to Y. No, it is not parallel to X axis. No. So do in the same way, draw table, write X, take a point on X, find out Y. It is not parallel to X axis. Uh, from second equation, Y, uh, So first is this, what is the problem with the second one? This is second, x plus y is equal to 10. So just x, y, put x zero, you will get y 10, y zero, x 10. From both equations, from both equations, you are not getting one. From both means this one and first one. Other which is okay. Okay, let let me draw the graph. Okay, if we will take the first one. So first is when x is zero, y is twenty. When y is zero, x is sixty. So zero comma sixty. There's zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, and sixty. 10, 20, 30. Okay, so the first point is 0, 20, this one. Next point is 60, 0, this one. Okay, so draw the line. This line is this. Next is 0, 10, 0, 10. Second line is this one. So for the first one, this one, put the origin. So this is your region, this side. For the next one, x plus y gives an equal to 10, 0. So next line is this. 10 and 10. Okay. So join these two lines, this one. Okay, now put the origin here. 0 plus 0 greater than equal to 10, which is, which is false. So that means this side is not your origin. The region which do not have the origin for this line, that is your solution. Okay, that means this one. For this, you have here, for this here, so we are getting the feasible region. Abdur, you got your mistake. Okay, great. Uh, all of you, you just have 12 minutes, okay? So please complete this in 12 minutes. Uh, yes, Abdul, that's correct. Okay, but you need the third one also. X is greater than or equal to zero. So if you will draw this, the line for this, and this will be a straight line passing through the origin. X is equal to Y is this one, all of you. So do not put origin here because it is already passing through the origin. So take any point. You can take out this point. This is what? This is 0, 10. Sorry, this is 10, 0. Put this point. If this satisfy, so I will do. If you will put 10 comma zero, X is less than equal to Y. If you will put 10 less than equal to zero, which is incorrect, which is false. So this region will not be your answer. This will be your answer. So this will be a shaded region. Okay, so I hope you already know this. So take out the corner points and find the value of it. Okay, Fat. Uh, so I will check here, Fat. For this line, this line is passing through the origin. So never put the origin in this line. Okay. Take any other point. For example, this point. This point is 10, 0. If you will put this, 10 is less than or equal to 0, which is incorrect. Okay. So this will not be your solution. 
this will be your solution. So what is the common region? For this line, you were getting this. For this, you are getting this. And for this, you are getting upper part. So this will be your feasible region. Clear for? Yes, sir. Okay, great. So now you need to find the corner points and check the value. Uh, maximum value, I mean, very good. You are getting a 0, 20. Uh, I mean, can you tell me what the corner points you are getting? Yes, I'm doing that now, wait. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, I mean uh, what the corner points you are getting? Please uh, share. Uh, okay, so you are getting 0, 180. Uh, I mean, share the corner points with me. Okay, for example, 0, 10, like this. Okay, because there are two answers for this. Yes, 0, 0 is correct, 0, 20 is correct. Good. What about the uh, 0, 10? Good. Next. There's one more point. Minus 15, 25. No, this is not a corner point. No, no. All of you, I will write the corner point here. Corner point is 0, 10, 5, 5. So you need to cross check this, okay? 15, 15. So I mean, you have missed this one, 0, 20. Okay, so you have given me 0, 0 is not the corner point, Haman. Okay, 0, 20 is the corner point. 0, 10 is also the corner point. So you have missed two points, 5, 5 and 15, 5. Okay, again, check the calculation. Uh, for the, you need to solve all the equations, okay? So for the, to find the point of intersection for these two lines, solve these two equations. Then to find the point of intersection of this, you need to solve these two equations. Okay, for now, sir, how to plot x is uh, less than y? Yes, for this, we will first write x is equal to y, okay? Then, again, the same thing. Take x anything, for example, 10. y, you will get 10. Take other value, for example, 20, you will get y, 20, okay? So, 10, 10 lies somewhere. Can we take 0? Uh, yes, you can take 0, yes. Okay, 0, 0, 10, 10. So, we get these two points, you will join, you get this line. But when you are deciding the region, for example, this line is dividing the plane into two regions. Then please don't put the region because it is already passing through the region. Clear, Mir? So can you repeat? 
Yes, I'm saying that this line is already passing through the origin. Okay, so please don't put origin when you are checking the region. Okay, sir. Okay. So all of you, uh, four minutes are left. So, uh, so the line that is passing through the origin is x equal to y, right? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Uh, Abdur, check here. What is the equation of this line? Okay, you need this point. So I have not written the equation here. So check what is the equation of this line and what is the equation of this line? Okay, so you need to solve these two. Similarly, you get you need this in point of intersection. So solve the equation this one and this one. Okay. Uh, okay, that's correct. You get 1.15 comma 15. Good for but uh, Abdur, sorry. So Abdur, find all these corner points. Okay, because I need to give you one more point, zero comma ten. Okay, but uh, find the value for all these points. So zero comma ten, uh, you are getting ninety. Okay, and this zero comma twenty. This is one eighty. Please tell me the value for these two points also. Okay, but first you need to find the corner points. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, why everyone faces difficulty while solving the equation? Uh, there's a 10th class equations why you all face problem? So you have this equation x plus 3y is equal to 60 and x plus y is equal to 10. Oh, okay, Fahad, good. Okay, so subtract these. This cancel out. 3y minus y is 2y. 60 and this will give you uh, 60 minus 10. This will give you 50. So y here you will get a 25. So okay. So now put this here. You will get 180 is max and 90 is min. Yes, that's correct. So oh, which equation you are solving? That's the point. Uh, Amen. So I need to write all the points. So this was what? Uh, 20. So this was x plus 3y is equal to 60. This is x is equal to y. And this is x plus y is equal to 10. So why you are solving these two? Amen. Okay. Your feasible region is this one only. So you need the critical point here. So you need to solve these two equations x is equal to y and this one and you need to solve this one there's no need to find out this critical point this one sorry there's no need to find this amen this lie outside the first quadrant we don't need this point okay so just find this point and this point solve these two equations x y and this one okay i'm mean, good so uh Abdul, first tell me, are you getting this critical point? Because there is a very important theorem here. Abdur, are you getting this critical point or not? Okay, then please find the value of all these points.
that's correct for but please okay for this find all one more value 60 here so if anyone get a crit, uh, the corner point 15 comma 15 then please find the value at this point Uh, not possible up there. You can't get a negative value. Okay. If the points are positive, you will get a positive value. Here, all the equations are positive. You are putting a positive value. So you must get a positive answer. Uh, Rifat, please let me know if it is done. If you are getting these critical points. Okay, Rifat, um, please tell me what the value you are getting for 15, 15. No, other, uh, that's why what I was saying to Amon, there's no need to solve the, these two equations. Okay. Amon was finding this point. There's no need for this point. This lie outside the first quadrant. We don't need this. We just need this, this one, this, and this. Very, very good, uh, Rifat. This is correct. This is 180. Okay. So this point is 15, 15. And this point is 5, 5. So for two points, we are getting the same value. Uh, for what you have given me. So all of you, please check here. You must get all these values. So if you are getting this answer, then you are correct. Otherwise, please check the calculation. So for the two points, you are getting the same value. So there is a very important theorem for this. So all of you raise your hands once you get this answer. Okay, Fahad. Okay, Aman. Okay, Fahad. Very good. So Mera and Abdur, please confirm me if you are getting. Okay, Abdur. Great. Who is left? Omer. Omer, are you getting this answer? No, sir. Uh, did you solve it? We're still doing? So I'm still doing. Okay, okay, Amir. Please complete it. So, for the rest of you, I will tell you the theorem. Okay. So, let this, this point be C. In your graph, please mark this as C and mark this point as D. So, this is the theorem that for two points, if you are getting the same maximum value or same minimum value, if for two points you are getting the same maximum or minimum value, then if you will join these two points, then on this line segment, you will get the same value. That means we have this line CD. On CD, if you will take any point and find, and at those point, if you will find the value of the objective function, then you will get 180 only. Okay, so this is very, very important. Uh, many questions has been asked from this concept. Okay, so always remember, if for two points you are getting the same maximum value or minimum value, then if you will join those two points, then the line segment which you will get, and at each and every point of, on that line segment, you will get the same maximum or minimum value. So please write this. Uh, at point at point c and d 
at point C and D, there is there is maximum value 180 180 okay so 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 every point so every point on line segment cd so every point on line segment cd give the give the same maximum value same maximum value okay so if in exam they will give an object how do you get 15 and 15 and 5 uh Omer, just uh, solve these two uh, just just give me a minute I, uh, I will tell you later on Omer. so all of you please uh, give the same maximum value so always remember if at two points you are getting the same minimum or maximum value then if you will join those two points then the line segment which you will get then at each and every point on the line segment you will get the same maximum value so an objective question they will ask you at how many points you will get a maximum value infinite or two points who can tell me if in the if you will get objective question in this case that uh, in how many points you will get a maximum value yes that's correct infinite okay there are infinite points at which you will get a maximum value why because if you will take any point on the line segment cd you will get the same maximum value 180 so please note on this this is very very important even this year also in cbse sample paper they have given an objective question on the basis of this concept okay so i will not give any assignment in this okay please do the ncrd post exercise Please complete this. Only a single uh, type is left that we will do next Saturday and we will start the probability. Okay. So please complete first exercise. Homework is first exercise. I will give you the homework 12.1. Exercise 12.1. Unbounded is left that we will do on Saturday. Okay. So whoever has completed this, they can leave. And in case you have a doubt, uh, please let me know. Okay, uh, okay, Umir, uh, you were saying how I'm getting 50 and 15. Umir, solve these two equations. X is equal to Y in this one. What the answer you're getting? Umir, solve these two equations. To which one? This one, X is equal to Y and X plus three Y is equal to 60. Tell me what the answer you're getting. Okay, so all of you, if uh, you have done this, then it's your wish, you can leave, okay? So only single chapter is left probability. We will try our best to complete this month. Okay. <clears throat> Two max values, no. Maximum value is only one, 180. But at how many Same points? Thing. Yes. That's correct, Omer. Now find this point, Omer. Solve this equation. X plus Y is equal to 10. Okay, please complete it. Uh, okay. They are the intersecting point, right? Yes, yes, yes. So, up the maximum value is 1, 180, but they exist at infinite points. Okay, so in this case, you will say that the maximum value is 180 and it occurs at 15, 15 and 0, 20. Only this you need to write. In objective, if they will ask you, then you can say that there are infinite points. Okay. Okay, so uh, if you wish, you can drop. Okay, I'm just going to end the class. I'm just waiting for Umair to complete it. Uh, yes, uh, this chapter is finished. Only unbounded part is left. So that we will complete on Saturday. In one hour, we will complete that. And second one, we will start the probability. Okay, please complete the homework. First exercise. Okay, so, okay. Uh, Rifat, if you wish, you can drop, or if you have any doubt, uh, please let me know.
Amir, is it done? Do you get this point? Five comma five. Can you do the table for me, like? Amir, uh, do you get the corner points? <coughs> Uh, Rifat, do you have any doubt? Okay, okay. Then Rifat, uh, this topic is completed. Okay, we will continue this next Saturday. So please do the homework. Okay, if yeah. you don't... Uh, yes, I got the corner points. Okay, okay, okay. Omir, just give me a minute. Okay, Rifat. So if you wish, you can drop. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, Omir, so you're getting all these corner points? Uh, yes, sir. I got uh, 0, 20, 0, 10, 15, yes. 15, and 5, 5. Very good. So, if you will find the value of objective function at this point, you will get these answers 960, 180, 180. So, what's the maximum value, Omir? So, I have to substitute the value uh, of x, y, and the uh, z equation, right? Yes, that's correct. That's yes. So, yes, can you tell me what's the maximum value? Uh, sir, here it is. Uh, we have two maximum values. Uh, 180. 180 we have one maximum value which occur at two point okay so okay. if this condition occur if you are getting maximum or minimum value at two point then join those two points so at c and d we are getting the maximum value we will join these two points so we get a cd now on cd if you will take any point if you will take any point on cd then it will give you the maximum value Okay, if at two point you are getting maximum or minimum value, join that point and the line segment which you will get, take any point on that line segment, you will get the same value, same maximum value. Okay, so in objective, how they uh, ask a question from this, they ask you at how many points the maximum value occur. So what will be the answer? Infinite or two? Two. Why two? Why not infinite? Because uh, we have two points. So read this, read this point. Okay. So if you have two points which give you maximum value, join those that point and the line segment which you get, then take any point on the line segment, you will get the maximum value. Okay. So that means answer is infinite. That's clear. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. Okay. So on CD, on CD, we have infinite points. Yes, okay. that's correct. Okay. So here, but that is an objective question. If they will ask you here, you just need to write that maximum value is 180, which occur at 15 comma 15 and 0 comma 20. Okay. So understood. Okay. And uh, do you have a doubt in 3D? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me check. Okay. Okay. So check here, Omir. R is equal to A plus lambda B. Okay. So sir. what is A? This is the equation of a line. What is A? V vector A. No vector, a, but what is this a in the equation? Do you want me to lay out the equation? Uh, I will explain you. Suppose this is a point a, and through this point a, a line is passing this one, okay? And yes. you have a vector b which is parallel to line. So, yes, what is line? R is equal to a plus lambda b. A is a point through which the line is passing, position vector of the point, and b is a vector which is parallel to the line to the line okay so that's why in the equation r is equal to a plus lambda b b is always the vector which is parallel to the line if you will change okay. this to cartesian okay. form then you will get this one uh, equals this. to y minus y1 by b equals yes. to c um, z minus z1 y by minus c by c okay so what is a b c these are the direction ratios, direction of the ratios. okay that's why i have written there that direction ratios of B, right? Yes, direction ratios of B. So okay. that's why I have written that this B is parallel to the line. Okay, sir. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so Amir, please complete the homework. Next week, uh, we will start okay. probability. Okay, and there please... one more doubt. Can yes. I, uh, first, yes. let me check. Uh, it is uh, in which page. Okay. Okay, and Omir, please don't leave any class of probability. That's a very, very tough chapter. Okay. Okay, sir. So actually, I was uh, off to Umrah, so I couldn't oh. take class. Okay, okay.
Also, I have sent a question on your WhatsApp. Can you do it? Okay, let me check. When the image of the point in the line, this also right there. Yes, uh, this we have done yesterday, Omer. Did you check the recorded lecture? So I checked, but I am not understanding something in this. So we are using uh, two different types, right? In this equation, I mean, in this question. Not two different type. Let, let. You need to find the image of this point. There's a point P. This is 1, 6, 3. You have a line here. It is x by 1, y minus 1 by 2, z minus 2 by 3. Okay, this is the line. Okay, and from this point, you are drawing a perpendicular. So you need to find the image. So before that, we have done a question. That is clear to you? Yes, sir. That, that one is clear. Okay, so can you tell me how, how can you find this point M? Sir, first we have to assume that M is a point and then we have to uh, yes. take it as general. Yes. Yes, by, yes. By taking it as lambda. Very, very good. So, can you tell me what the point M uh, we get in this question? Because if you already know, there is no point of solving this. Okay. So, what the uh, point? The value of M? Yes, I guess. 135. 135. Okay. We need to find the image of this point. Okay. So, suppose yes, this sir. is a mirror. This line is a mirror. So, what's the property? Its image will be here, P dash. What is the property? This distance and this distance will be same. Uh, okay, sir. Okay. If this is the image, if this P dash is the image of P. I said my question. Uh, my question was like, uh, how uh, PM is uh, perpendicular to vector B. Okay. So PM is perpendicular to line. Yes. Line. Okay. Line is parallel to B. Line is parallel, parallel. to B. It is not given like that in the question. Oh, uh, Omer. Just I already told you R is equal to A plus lambda B. Mm -hmm. okay, so how should I know that this is type one? Always this equation is of type one. Oh, okay. So that equation denotes type one. Yes, it is a Cartesian form. Oh, okay, okay. Always in the <coughs> this A, B, and C. This is the so type two has a different name, right? Yes. But even when you will solve type two also. You will get an equation like this. So this, 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 this is always a vector B. Okay, sir. Okay. So this PM is perpendicular to line. So it is perpendicular to the vector B also. Okay. 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 Yes, okay. Now can you do this? Um, okay. I was explaining this point P dash. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now P dash. this distance and this is same. So can we say that M is a midpoint of P P dash? M is the midpoint, yes, you can say like that. Okay. So what is the midpoint formula? Suppose you have a point here. A, B, and C. Suppose the formula is... Um, X1, Y1, Z1. This is X2, Y2, Z2. X1, Y1, Z1 plus X2, Y2, Z2 by 2. Yes, so X is equal to X1 plus X2 by 2. Y is equal to Y1 plus Y2 by 2. Z is equal to Z1 plus Z2 by 2. Clear? Yes. Clear. So we have the midpoint. We have this point. Can you find now this point? Uh, what's it? Uh, you have the midpoint. You have this point P. So can yes. you find this point P dash? Um, this point. Use the midpoint formula. Suppose this point is X1, Y1, Z1. Okay. So X1 plus 1. X1 plus 1 by 2. Is equal to midpoint this one. Okay. okay. Clear? Okay. Okay. Then we'll uh -huh. get y and z. So what yeah. is the what is the purpose of getting the p dash? They ask you in the question. Check the question. Find the image of the point. So p dash is the image mm -hmm. of the point. Okay. 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 Clear? Okay. Okay. Understood. Okay. Great, Umir. So, so after that, uh, getting uh, after getting the coordinates of P dash, we will find the image. That is the image. That is the image. And then they are